Hello CyanogenMod Mod users. Today we saw the unprecedented release of two alphas in one day by the Cyanogen Mod team. Bravo! With our first release of Alpha 1, uh, we received hardware video acceleration. So we could now play 1080p video. Uh, we could play back HD video in YouTube. The one problem, the one downside was that we couldn't play Netflix. Well, later this day, this same day, Cyanogen Mod Team released Alpha 2, which now allows us to play Netflix videos and other streaming services. It also fixed the video playback. Uh, the playback between software and hardware uh, really wasn't a very visual difference. Uh, they've actually cleaned that up and you can tell the difference. I'll play a little clip and we'll take a look. Uh, but I've got to say, just great work here. Also in the Alpha 1 and Alpha 2 releases, Dee's Troy's touchscreen improvements. Uh, he's really spiffed up the way you interact with your touchpad. It feels a little more like WebOS, a little spiffier, a little nicer to interact with. So definitely a great patch by him. He's been adding support for some time to the Cyanogen mod. All right. Now, first let's talk about the streaming video playback. Some apps seem to be working, others are still a little problematic. Here, Justin TV uh, doesn't seem to start. Uh, but Giant Bomb Beta seems to run just fine. It's very prop because we're streaming high definition content. Here we see mass effect in high definition. Playback is perfectly smooth. Video streaming is back. Get on your Netflix, enjoy your TV, and enjoy your movies. Next up, let's go to our local content uh, in my Alpha 1.0 version. I showed a particular clip of Beavis and Butthead. I won't be able to remove it by simple extraction without further damaging the surrounding soft tissues. That's what happens when Beavis throws his hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tissue. Uh, do you need to be here? No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, you can see here, I'm running hardware. Switch it to software. by simple extraction without further damaging the surrounding soft tissues. That's what happens when Beavis throws his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can see a noticeable, noticeable visual improvement from software to hardware. Running fluently. Let's see it again. Great. <laughs> Here's the thing. I won't be able to remove it by simple extraction without further damaging the surrounding soft tissues. That's what happens when Beavis throws his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tissue. Oh, just looking great. Incredible to have two alphas released in the same day. Things are running great, looking great. Uh, the installation procedure is the same. I'm going to note before I reboot here uh, that I still have the same reboot problem where instead of rebooting it was shutting down so I went ahead and I put the reboot patch on and it seemed to alleviate the problem. I'll put a link to that. So now I'm gonna reboot right into the clockwork mod and show you the installation process. Now if we already have Cyanogen Mod 9 installed, uh, this is the way we do it. 
if we don't yet have it on, we'll need to do a full installation. And that's a little more complicated. We're not going to get into that here. Uh, now, for this installation, we're going to want to go into the Advanced menu and wipe the Delvic cache. Yes, wipe the cache. Go back. Wipe the cache partition. Yes, wipe. And now we're all ready to install. Okay, so now we'll go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Find our way to the bottom. You can see alpha 1 here and alpha 2 here. Uh, just like the alpha 0 0.6, we'll want to uh, switch our LCD density to with 120 and 160, which we'll need to do from here if we want to change the resolution LCD density a little. Uh, now all we'll need to do here is click OK. And yes, and we'll go through the installation process. I'm not going to do it here. It's a little too time consuming. I've already done it, uh, but it'll take a little time to start up. You'll know your caches are wiped uh, when you're starting up. Once you're all done, you'll just reboot. And it'll slowly go through uh, your entire list of apps. I believe I had about 150 apps to go through. And it'll little be a little bit slower just the first time and every time you wipe the cache. Uh, next, you're going to want to check out the uh, Twitter updates on the CM Tenderloin thread uh, for the nightly updates. Not yet. Uh, these are going to be soon integrated in with that, uh, maybe in the next update or so. Don't quite know that information yet, but it'll become available soon. So I'll post a link to the Twitter down below. Uh, to the update tree, so you can see the different updates that are being released with each nightly update. And that will be in addition to this. And it's really been incredible to receive two releases in one night. Kept me quite busy. This is a little bit of my Droidson's custom boot animation that you can download. I'll provide a link to that. And just like I was talking about, 150 programs, cache is wiped, uh, we're going to optimize. I didn't install the update because I already have it installed, but because I've wiped the caches, uh, this will optimize each time. And just a little bit of a wait. Again, uh, wiping the caches is recommended. Uh, you can probably get away without doing it, uh, but in case you have problems launching applications in that, uh, this is rather necessary for that. Uh, but again, you will likely not damage anything or have a problem booting if you forget to do it or fail to do it. But if you have problems launching applications, it may be because of this. Some people have reported problems uh, with video playback not playing in certain applications like the Justin TV, uh, but for the most part it seems to be working. It seems to be specific problems maybe to specific applications. Uh, you can also check out my other video, I'll be providing a link to within Nightlies and I'll explain more about the nightly updates, how to get them, where to follow along. And that is the new way we're going to be updating uh, until it'll be the next significant release. And there we go, we're back in. And you'll just want to confirm that everything has installed properly. You can go into your settings. And just scroll down to About Tablet and confirm that you have alpha 2 installed. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe. Great work, Signage and Mod Team. Thank you very much.